One of my favorite releases each year. Well, at least for the last four years. Fourgate Batch 28 is the fifth iteration of the award-winning Kelvin Collaboration Series, the company's annual signature release. Now, it is released each year shortly before the Kentucky Derby in early May, and I believe is the one release from Fourgate that is I can't miss each and every year. Is 2023 the same? Will it make it five years in a row? Let's find out. Stay right here. It's the Mash and Drum. What is up, Whiskey Tube family? I am Jason C. from The Mash and Drum. Welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, do all the things you need to do to help grow the channel for 2023. Appreciate all the love. So if you don't know much about Fourgate Whiskey Company, Fourgate blends the highest quality whiskey available and collaborates on each batch with the barrel experts at Kelvin Cooperage to barrel finish the whiskey in new and innovative ways. They locate barrels with varying ages, and while working closely with Kelvin Cooperage, they either finish them in secondary casks, create split stave casks with alternating wood staves, sometimes do a combination of finishes, or if they're that good, just leave it as is. All right, so before we get into the details of the Kelvin collaboration number five, it is time. That's right, it is time to hear about the new Whiskey Black collection and today's sponsor, it's Original Grain. All right, guys, they are back. Let's talk about Original Grain. They have been making watches from unique materials for almost a decade. Original Grain makes watches, they make sunglasses, they make rings and more inlaid with whiskey barrel wood that inspires connection, creates conversations, and from what I've seen, commemorates milestones as well. Today, I have an offer for their newest timepieces called the Whiskey Black Collection. Their Whiskey Black Collection is a dark twist on the bestseller. It takes the popular Whiskey Barrel Collection and brings a new level of classiness to their most popular designs. They are really awesome. So this collection is crafted from reclaimed whiskey barrels like you know and love, but it's surrounded in a matte black steel casing and it just looks incredible. Matte black is apparently the new black. It's sleek, it's stylish. The contrast of the barrel wood against the matte black just pops. It's basically like Batman's ultimate watch. Now, as I mentioned, they applied this matte finish to the Whiskey Black Collection, which comes in four different styles. Their Chrono 44 millimeter, the Barrel 46 millimeter, the Barrel 42 millimeter, or the Barrel Chrono 42 millimeter. This is the perfect time to give your wrist a fresh new upgrade this spring that doesn't break the bank. This is 100% money back guaranteed. It's a veteran and family owned company, which I love. Free shipping, a great warranty, amazing customer service, by the way. So here's how you get one. Go to originalgrain.com slash mash and use the code MASH at checkout for 30% off. That's right, 30% off your new Whiskey Black watch today. Crazy, it's a huge discount for a badass timepiece. There is a link below in the description as well, so give it a click and get your new Whiskey Black Original Grain watch today. All right, so as promised, the details of the Kelvin Collaboration 5. This is a blend of three Kentucky straight bourbons, a seven-year bourbon with a mash bill of 74% corn, 20% rye, and 5% malted barley, an eight-year of the same mash bill, and then a nine-year with a mash bill of 78% corn, 10% rye, and 12% malted barley. It's all distilled in Kentucky. The whiskeys were then finished in Australian Mariposa Sherry and Añejo Dark Rum Casks. The resulting batch yielded 4,802 bottles at 117 proof with an MSRP of 200 bucks. As of now, I believe Fourgate is available in Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, Indiana, Texas, Louisiana, Florida, and Illinois. But if you can't find them in a store, you can also find bottles on sealbox.com, bourbonoutfitter.com, and also caskers.com. All right, so let's go to the nose and see what we get. So one thing I'm getting immediately, I mean, this thing is a flavor monster already on the nose. There's a lot coming out of the glass. Actually getting, man, what is going on in here? First thing that hits me is chocolate, which I think was would normally come from the sherry cask finish, but on top of that is like this, like this caramel apple maple syrup combination a little bit. So since it's finishing like dark rum, I'm looking for that, like that maple syrup note. I feel like it's in there, but not as strong as I thought it would be. Maybe it would be on the palate. Man, it smells incredible. Let's give it a try. Oh, wow. That's, um, ooh. So this is a beautiful study in contrast between what a nose is and a palate. Because when you, when you kind of, like if I tried them blind, I don't know if I would think they're the same whiskey. Like nose this one, drink this one. 
because it's it's a big contrast for me, at least on first sip here. The the nose I was getting a little bit of a brighter, like a like a caramel apple. Then I was getting like a little bit of a peachy note. I was hit, getting some chocolate, but on the palate, this is all dark. It it went it got dark real fast. Like Darth Vader came out, you know, like here comes the the red lightsaber. Like it got real dark real fast. So the, immediately the thing I got was first of all the viscosity on the palate, and I got molasses. I think that rum and the molasses it just hits hard immediately. So I think the rum on the front of the palate is where it shines. You get the molasses, maybe a hit, slight hint of maple syrup. Once this thing hits mid palate though, the sherry and the bourbon combination starts hitting. You get the vanilla, you get the rich caramels, and then this sneaky little dark chocolate covered raisin type thing just hits right in the mid palate. And then the finish has this long spicy I mean, the finish just goes on for days on this one, um, which is what I love in whiskeys. That's kind of my favorite. That's kind of the favorite thing I look for in a whiskey, if you guys don't know already. Love a long finish. I like to enjoy my whiskey. I don't like to keep crushing it. I just want to be able to sit back, enjoy it. And if it has a long finish, I feel like you can sit back and take your time with just really enjoying a whiskey rather than having to keep re-pouring because it goes down like water. All right, another sip here. It's really nice. It's well balanced. I mean, if I had to compare it to some other four gates, I would have to do a, like a whole blind tasting with all the Kelvin collabs. Um, I don't know which would be my favorite. If you tried Kelvin collab four last year, which was actually a blend of bourbon and rye, that one was one of my, that was a burai that was probably one of my favorites that they've done. This one gets back to what I'm more used to with kind of a double finish. Although the mash bills that they use, those three different bourbons that they use in the mash bills to blend this, are I think different than anything else that they've ever used, I believe. Uh, but I think what makes this is the spice of it, the spice on the back end of it. You know, the fruit flavors are great. And you know, I feel like you could get that with a lot of different finishes um, or a lot of different finished bourbons, I should say. But the finish on this and what you get on the back end of this of this whiskey, the back end of this, uh, this finished bourbon, I think is what makes it really nice. You know what, if this didn't have that spice to it, to balance it out, I actually probably wouldn't be as crazy about it as I was to previous Kelvin collabs because I feel like previous ones, you know, they have the finishes, they could tend to be pretty sweet, but if it doesn't have a finish to balance it out, I, I can try that with any other, you know, finished bourbon on the market. This, I think it brings you something unique because of that, that long finish it has. Man, the, the, just the, the combination of flavors here, that molasses just goes on for days. I mean, the, the molasses thing just keeps going. I feel like that rum cask finish is coming out more and more the more I sip it. I feel like it's taking over the sherry a little bit. The sherry you do get, I think, on the very back end of it, like I said. It's kind of a chocolate covered raisin type thing, which I think you really get from, from sherry. A little bit of a nutty characteristic as well. Maybe like an almond or, or a peanut or something like that. There's definitely a nuttiness to it that kind of is intertwined with everything. Yeah, you know, each sip is staying consistent. Um, each sip, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the same things here. I will say with these four gates, normally, this is the first pour, so with over time, usually more flavors come out. But again, I'm just giving you first impressions here. So I'm wondering if more of the sherry will come out over time. Will the molasses and the chocolate like keep coming out and, and giving it more and more types of flavors here? But one thing, the one thing that is just staying from front to back is that beautiful spice. And it's not heat, it's a black pepperiness that it has, but it's combined with like the molasses and the, again, like the raisin and the sherry and a little bit of the chocolate. It's all coming together really well. Now, given the price point of this, this isn't an easy sell for most folks, but those of you out there that have had the Kelvin collabs, I think you understand how good these could be uh, each and every year. So let me think about this and then let's go to the final breakdown. All right, final breakdown and Kelvin collaboration, number five from Forgate. The price, 200 bucks for this bottle as always, uh, secondary market value. If I see these upcharge, usually it's for not much more than 200, let's just say 250. For availability, I'm gonna say availability is good. I mean, it's it's only available in eight states, which is not a lot, 
But on top of that, you have three different destinations where it could ship to your home directly. Now, when you wanna pay shipping or not, that's up to you. But, you know, it's not like it's completely inaccessible to get a bottle of 4Game. All right, value for this one. I'm, you know, to be honest, I, I still think it's a low value. You're looking at 200 bucks. It's got a really cool combination of, of, uh, of cask finishes here, which obviously add to the price, along with the three different combinations of uh, whiskeys that they're using to blend this together. So that all adds up in the cost. I totally get it. But in today's market, with what's out there, this can definitely be perceived as a low value. The most I pay. The most I pay, retail, if I'm if I'm finding this and I'm gonna see, and I say this every year, guys, if you're gonna spend money on a four gate, the Kelvin collab is the way to go. So retail at 200 bucks, it's a buy for me. Now when it comes to alternatives, I mean, there's just so many finished whiskeys out there, guys. You have sherry, you have port, you have rum, you have, it's, it's, it's endless. You have vanilla, I mean, people doing stuff in vanilla extract barrels, it's crazy. People are finishing stuff in every way, shape, or form these days. Now, the one thing I'll say that Fourgate tends to know how to do better than most folks is they know when to pull the whiskey out of that barrel when it's they don't want it to get overdone. They want to keep the backbone of the Kentucky whiskey there. So if you're looking at some of these other brands that the finish is just so overly done that you really can't taste the whiskey anymore, that's not what Fourgate is. I think Fourgate knows exactly when to pull those uh, pull the whiskey out of the barrel. So for me, when you look at alternatives. There's a plenty out there, but when you come to a combination of casts, do they do it quite as good as Fourgate? Well, that's debatable. So what's the recommendation here? Is it a pass? Is it a try before you buy? Is it a buy or is it a buy and back it up? Kelvin Collab 5 for me is a buy. I like Kelvin Collab 5 a lot. I love the spice of it. This is one of those whiskeys you could sit and enjoy all night long. The spice of it, the flavors, the viscosity, all intertwines really well together. The combination of the uh, rum and the sherry together is one thing that's kind of hard to find, especially done this well with that amount of spice without getting overly sweet. So for just that reason alone, I think it's a buy. Uh, for 200 bucks, it's a lot of money. But like I said, if you're gonna buy a four gate, the Kelvin collab is the way to go. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed this video for the new four gate Kelvin collaboration five. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe below, hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram and find me on Twitter. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have received this one yet, what you think. Are you willing to spend the 200 bucks or is it just too much damn money for you? I mean, if you don't want to spend it, that is fine. It's completely up to you. But let me know down in the comments. And as I always say, it is not about the whiskey. It is the people you share it with. So cheers. And I'll see you next time right here on the Mash and Drum. Cheers, guys.